Hello and welcome to another modelling video. It's another Tuesday update and oh shit, we've got another 19 days left. Uh, i still got a lot to do. Uh, four more days of work and then I've got a bit of a holiday and my area is an absolute mess and I've had a bit of a disaster though also a lot of work done so let's check it out. Disaster 1 Damn, Dremel's not working too good. Dangerous as hell. Um, sparks, or oh, the wire brush on the inside sparking like crazy, and the fitting in the front nozzle doesn't fit too well anymore. They could flip out and hit me in the eye or something, so I'm going to have to buy a new one really shortly. Damn, area is cluttered, and it's a pain to work, so I'm going to have to find some time to clean. And I was meant to do a heap of work on it, well, today and yesterday, though, I went out to a party with some mates, you know, got drunk, stayed in the city. That sort of stuff. Now, the side projects first. I was trying to gently remove the new masking I was using before, the master mask. And disaster struck. And it's stripping the damn paint underneath. And that's not too good. You're meant to warm it in warm water and roll it off, and it's not easy to roll, so applied a bit of pressure. I'm mean, not using my nails or anything, and it just flakes the damn paint off. I don't know if it's uh, my fault, as in I painted it wrong or whatever, but yeah, this uh, thing's completely ruled out. I won't get it done in time for Sydney, though. I've still got four other kits to go. Well, let's give this video a bit of more of a happy, upbeat message. Uh, I did a lot of work on the figure during the week. I did it in stages and filmed the stages so you guys got an idea how it turned out. So, quickly have a look at that. A quick explanation of what I'm doing after the figure's been sculpted to the shape I want. I sculpted clothing... Uh, folds and creases uh, quite over exaggeratedly with two part putty and super glued it on top it will be filed down and a fair amount of a softer putty probably squadron or tammy will be applied on top smothering the whole figure and smaller creases sculpted using a toothpick and fold back again hopefully resulting in a realistic look The second stage to the sculpting of the clothes creases is applying the squadron putty all over the torso and limbs. Uh, quite a thick amount and rubbing it on with a cotton swab and regraving uh, the existing lines I sculpted last night with a toothpick and new lines. It looks very rough but there's going to be a little sanding back and uh, that should be my clothes creases. The third stage, and near complete, is some cover coverings over the shoulder. I'm trying to go for a raincoat effect. And the bottom part of his long jacket. And uh, the material does look shredded and uh, very textured. The initial, uh, or the second stage green putty has been sanded down. And uh, a lot of sanding done on the face and the scratch built hand uh, some little bit of work sculpted into the feet but uh, I gotta say more or less this figure's done very rough but I want this clothing to be extremely uh, gritty uh, you'll notice some uh, grey on top of the green stuff sculpted on the fabric over his shoulders and around his waist is some tamiya putty to give it a rougher texture and it's uh, torn at the back but I'm I'm really happy. It's uh, this figure's pretty much done, and uh, with the color scheme I have in mind, it should look alright when it's done. Uh, I've also sculpted a band around his helmet, a lot like the uh, U.S. Marines one, and a bit of a chin um, strap or a strap to hold the helmet down to his head which is a very thin bit of leather uh, hardened with super glue. 
Now, this is what the guy looks like on the diorama. He is pretty much finished the, the detailing, a nice um, raggy ass uniform. I'm extremely pleased and I thought I'd have a lot of trouble with him, but he, he came out really nicely, holds his gun nice, looks natural behind the sandbags on the diorama. Extremely pleased it's uh, done. I've done the research on um, the basic uh, look of a US Marine coat, um, added a raincoat sort of feature that I saw in there army disposal store I think uh, this part on the shoulders is a bit German like but whatever in the um, anime it's just an invading English speaking army they didn't say who they were so I can almost do whatever the hell I want um, I've got a color scheme in mind uh, the helmet's got a band around the top a, a mouth strap uh, mounts very nicely on the base uh, before that, a quick uh, back view, if you haven't seen it clearly enough. Uh, as quickly, what I got inspiration for the uh, shoulders. Uh, this is the colour scheme of the uniform of the figure I'd like to do. This was the inspiration for the helmet. Um, yeah, you're going to paint the boots that sand colour. And for things like the uh, the gloves are, are green and slightly different colour for the accessories. He does have a pouch on his back. Uh, the guns are glossy um, gunmetal colour. Um, another picture of the colour scheme I'm after, or the pattern, and just what a longish coat looks like in motion. Now into the kit. Um, on Friday night I did a lot of work on the um, cannon. I'll, first I'll explain that I'm dividing the project in half at this point since the diorama and the figure is done. Um, it's just the figure needs priming and I could go straight into painting those guys though. This part is actually very close to finish. Uh, the figure itself or chisa is in this Chinese food container and um, just some light sanding, nothing too major, but really there's not a lot of work to do. There's a small modification I want to do on the uh, backpack and the hair, like a little girly, school girly type um, accessories in a hair clip, uh, dangly on the bag. Make a bit human. And the second half that I'm working on is the cannon itself. And it is practically done as well. I just want to throw some primer on, see if there's any imperfections that I can cover with play to modification or um, putty so uh, there, there is a lot to it um, I'm not surprised if there's a tiny you know gap in the seam or a uh, scribe after recarve but you know that's that's really little work though um, this is what the project's all about the big bloody gun and the fancy backpack and I'm extremely pleased uh, a lot of detailing glued um, around that pole and at the base of the gun. I may seem a bit down in the dumps, but, you know, nothing's too bad going on. Uh, slightly hungover from last night, but it's it's going quite well. Um, I'm pretty happy. Uh, yeah, four days of work, and then I've got holidays. I could do a, a ton of work on it. And I'm very confident it'll be uh, done fairly quickly, uh, easily in a week. Uh, colour scheme's extremely simple. It's going to be metallics and shades of blue. Uh, decals would be a little work, but no, nah, very good. Uh, not much to do in cleaning up Chise. The gun's going to get a primer. The figure's going to get priming. Um, the gun got very little to do. We're almost there, guys. Um, we're almost there. Thanks for watching, and until next time.